Yashar Jasher 89. Then spoke Yahusha this song. On the day that Yahuwah had given the Emorim into the hand of Yahusha and the children of Yashara'el, and he said in the sight of all Yashara'el, You have done mighty things, O Yahuwah. You have performed great deeds. Who is like unto you? My lips shall sing to your name. My goodness and my fortress, my high tower, I will sing a new song unto you. With thanksgiving will I sing to you. You are the strength of my Yeshua. Rather, Yeshua. All the kings of the earth shall praise you. The princes of the world shall sing to you. The children of Yashara'el shall rejoice in your Yeshua. They shall sing and praise your power. To you, O Yahua, did we confide. We said, You are our Elohim, for you were our shelter and strong tower against our enemies. To you we cried and were not ashamed. In you we trusted and were delivered. When we cried unto you, you did hear our voice. You did deliver our souls from the sword. You did show us unto, rather show unto us your grace. You did give unto us your Yeshua. You did rejoice our hearts with your strength. You did go forth for our Yeshua. With your arm, you did redeem your people. You did answer us from the heavens of your holiness. You did save us from ten thousands of people. The sun and moon stood still in heaven, and you did stand in your wrath against our oppressors and did command your judgments over them. All the princes of the earth stood up. The kings of the nations had gathered themselves together. They were not moved at your presence. They desired your battles. You did rise against them in your anger and did bring down your wrath upon them. You did destroy them in your anger and cut them off in your heart. Nations have been consumed with your fury. Kingdoms have declined because of your wrath. You did wound kings in the day of your anger. You did pour out your fury upon them. Your wrathful anger took hold of them. You did turn their iniquity upon them and did cut them off in their wickedness. They did spread a trap. They fell therein. In the net they hid. Their foot was caught. Your hand was ready for all your enemies who said, Through their sword they possessed the land. Through their arm they dwelt in the city. You did fill their faces with shame. You did bring their horns down to the ground. You did terrify them in your wrath and did destroy them in your anger. The earth trembled and shook at the sound of your storm over them. You did not withhold their souls from death, and did bring down their lives to Sheol. You did pursue them in your storm. You did consume them in your whirlwind. You did turn their rain into hail. They fell in deep pits, so that they could not rise. Their carcasses were like rubbish, cast out in the middle of the streets. They were consumed and destroyed in your anger. You did save your people with your might. Therefore, our hearts rejoice in you. Our souls exult in your Yeshua. Our tongues shall relate your might. We will sing and praise your wondrous works. 
For you did save us from our enemies. You did deliver us from those who rose up against us. You did destroy them from before us and depress them beneath our feet. Thus shall all your enemies perish, O Yahuwah, and the wicked shall be like chaff driven by the wind, and your beloved shall be like trees planted by the waters. So Yahusha and all Yashara'el with him returned to the camp in Gilgal after having smitten all the kings so that not a remnant was left of them. And the five kings fled alone on foot from battle and hid themselves in a cave. And Yahusha sought for them in the field of battle and did not find them. And it was afterward told to Yahusha, saying, The kings are found, and behold, they are hidden in a cave. And Yahusha said, Appoint men to be at the mouth of the cave to guard them lest they take themselves away. And the children of Yasharael did so. And Yahusha called to all Yasharael and said to the officers of battle, Place your feet upon the necks of these kings. And Yahusha said, So shall Yahuwah do to all your enemies. And Yahusha commanded afterward that they should slay the kings and cast them into the cave and to put great stones at the mouth of the cave. And Yahusha went afterward with all the people that were with him on that day to Machedah. And he smote it with the edge of the sword. And he utterly destroyed the souls and all belonging to the city. And he did to the king and people thereof, as he had done to Yericho. And he passed from there to Livna, and he fought against it. And Yahuwah delivered it into his hand, and Yahusha smote it with the edge of the sword. And all the souls thereof. And he did to it and to the king thereof as he had done to Yericho. And from there he passed on to Lachish to fight against it. And Haram, king of Gaza, went up to assist the men of Lachish. And Yahusha smote him and his people until there was none left to him. And Yahusha took Lachish and all the people thereof, and he did to it as he had done to Livna. And Yahusha passed from there to Eglon, and he took that also, and he smote it, and all the people thereof with the edge of the sword. And from there he passed to Hebron, and fought against it, and took it, and utterly destroyed it. And he returned from there with all Yashareel to Devir and fought against it and smote it with the edge of the sword. And he destroyed every soul in it. He left none remaining. And he did to it and the king thereof as he had done to Yericho. And Yahusha smote all the kings of the Emorim from Kadesh Barnea to Gaza. And he took their country at once, for Yahuwah had fought for Yashereel. And Yahusha, with all Yashereel, came to the camp to Gilgal. When at that time Yavin, king of Chetzor, heard all that Yahusha had done to the kings of the Emorim, Yavin, sent to Yovat, king of Midian, and to Lavan, king of Shimran, to Yifal, king of Ashkaf, and to all the kings 
of the Amarim, saying, Come quickly to us and help us, that we may smite the children of Yashara'el before they come up upon us and do unto us as they have done to the other kings of the Amarim. And all these kings hearkened to the words of Yavin, king of Chatzor, and they went forth with all their camps, seventeen kings, and their people were as numerous as the sand on the seashore, together with horses and chariots innumerable. And they came and pitched together at the waters of Merom, and they were met together to fight against Yashar'el. And Yahuwah said to Yahusha, Fear them not, for tomorrow about this time I will deliver them up, all slain before you. You shall hoe their horses and burn their chariots with fire. And Yahusha, with all the men of war, came suddenly upon them and smote them, and they fell into their hands, for Yahuwah had delivered them into the hands of of the children of Yashara'el. So the children of Yashara'el pursued all these kings with their camps and smote them until there was none left of them. And Yahusha did to them as Yahua had spoken to him. And Yahusha returned at that time to Chetzor and smote it with the sword. And destroyed every soul in it, and burned it with fire. And from Chetzor, Yahusha passed to Shimran and smote it, and utterly destroyed it. From there, he passed to Akshaf, and he did it to it as he had done to Shimran. From there, he passed to Adlam, and he smote all the people in it, and he did to Adlam as he had done to Achshaf and to Shimran. And he passed from them to all the cities of the kings which he had smitten. And he smote all the people that were left of them. And he utterly destroyed them. Only their booty and cattle, Yashara'el, took to themselves as a prey. But every man smote. They suffered not a soul to live. As Yahuwah had commanded Moshe, so did Yahusha and all Yashara'el. They failed not in anything. So Yahusha and all the children of Yashara'el smote the whole land of Canaan as Yahuwah had commanded them and smote all their kings being thirty and one kings. And the children of Yashara'el took their whole country, besides the kingdoms of Sichan and Og, which are on the other side of the Yardan, of which Moshe had smitten many cities. And Moshe gave them to the Reuvianim and the Gadim, and to half the tribe of Menashe. And Yahusha smote all the kings that were on this side of the Yardan to the west, and gave them for an inheritance to the nine tribes and to the half tribe of Yashara'el. For five years did Yahusha carry on the war with these kings. And he gave their cities to Yashara'el. And the land became tranquil from battle throughout the cities of the Amorim and the Kenaanim.